if you're going to have a quiz where you're going to be asking questions based on images and you want to make sure that those images are large enough for students to see the detail, you want to follow this tutorial which is going to show you how to create a text link and when the students click on that text link it will pop up, not really pop up, it will bring up in what's called an overlay the uh, larger image so the students can see the detail. Now the reason that this is a good uh, good process is first the overlay is not pop, not blocked by pop-up blockers and secondly if you could imagine you wanted you put all these images into a quiz the students will be scrolling up and down up and down trying to find these images so this is a much better method now it's real important you follow the steps in this tutorial and don't miss a step and secondly this tutorial assumes that you feel comfortable working within the source code of the HTML editor if you don't please contact my courses for faculty and we'll help you out now there's a couple things you want to have ready and done before you start this whole process one you want to have your images uploaded into the course into the managed file area of your course and make sure you put them into some folders for best for keeping them organized and there's a, a couple pieces of uh, HTML code that you're going to need and we'll get to those later so I'm going to go ahead and just create a true false question and I am going to click on the HTML source icon and I'm going to copy onto my clipboard this code that starts with iframe and ends with an iframe and I'm going to go ahead and paste it into the HTML source editor and I'm going to click save. I'm now going to go ahead and finish my question and if this is the text that I want to use for my link I'm going to highlight that text I'm going to click on the insert quick link I'm going to click course files and again it's assumed you've already uploaded your files here I'm going to navigate to the image I want to show up in the overlay which is this one and now I'm going to go back into the HTML source and I've copy onto my clipboard target equals overlay and I'm going to find where it says target equals self and I'm going to highlight that and then I'm going to paste in that target equals overlay. I'm going to click the save button. I'm going to finish filling out my quiz or my quiz question and by the way if you wanted to put these into the uh, question text you can do that too same process I'm gonna click on preview the preview will give me an idea to make sure that this works so now if I click on this link that's the overlay students would be able to close that click on it again to make sure that they know the answer and that's how the overlay works so when you're done go ahead and click save and that's the process to be able to create um, um, a link to an image that brings it up in an overlay and that image whatever size it is that overlay will resize depending on the size of the image and that will give the student a much better experience of looking at details as opposed to having the image within the question text itself.